In this video, I'm going to give you five tips and tricks to categorize your project in Figma and hand it over to another designer, to a developer, to your client and make their life hella easier. This is me, Vorkis, and let's dig deep. As you already know, we have this design project file setup template is for when you start a project. We have all these kind of pages, fancy stuff, rounds of design, your exploration, sandbox, audit, inspiration, all this. But this is all for when you want to start Start a new project you know when you want to deliver it structure of this file actually changes and you shouldn't be delivering it with so many different pages and irrelevant stuff to the developer or the person who's gonna actually code this up so what you should do is that you should duplicate this page and well it all obviously have some of the same pages like cover and archive but what is really important here is the launch page so the launch page actually is a page that has all the different text pages and stuff that the developer is going to code and it's really important that you have this page containing all of the flows that your app currently have it could be the login flow it could be the checkout flow all of these should be listed here and then what i like to do is that i like to add the dls file here so they could actually have access to that also a prototype of each of this flow so they could actually click it and go ahead on the flow and like see how it actually works and then after adding those four the sets of pages i want to have the name of the page and like how it is connected to the other pages how you could exit this flow and all that goes on so instead of writing step two step one you should add the title of that page and the title of that flow that your user is supposed to go this would make it super easy for your developer make sure you actually go through with this so there's gonna be a lot less questions and then you want to have these little tags if you updated any screen and it's not like it used to be like a week ago so when they come here and like well they're here and for example they're doing other pages if they see this tag they're gonna know something has changed in this page and it's updated at that date and they can actually work on it and some flows keep on changing so it's really good to have a work in progress tag on top of it and if it's done you can actually change this to done that's it for the main portion of it and then obviously we have the second flow i added one with like using the section tool from figma just for you guys to see it it might work for just adding one flow but then again you have to come here instead of like naming the flow like that you have to come here and add that step by step guide that i added here on top of this i'm not a huge fan of this but if you prefer it that way i put it here as well and the third thing is polish and specs so here you want to make sure you add a couple of screenshots of all of the different pages of the app here and like make sure you use a plugin to add the specs and sizes and everything for your developer the one that i'm using here is actually from snow dashboard ui kit so it's a ready one but this is how it works and you can actually do it component by component you can only do the menu here you can only do the header here you can only do this card here but make sure you do this so their eyes like gets used to it and like they don't make a lot of specs and spacing and stuff like that with like different that is different from what you've designed so this is for that and then the other pages are okay that was the latest updates here is the work in progress you're working here and you're communicating as well you're like you're updating them that i'm working on this feature i'm working on that feature this is where you keep your work you obviously have your sandbox where it's messy and your icon where you put your uh, the stuff that you don't want or might need in the future and yep that's it that's the setup for a delivery a file for your clients and developers and trust me this this thing makes your life so much easier make sure you use it